We got our yellow perch all boxied and pulled him off the drying rack and put hooks on him. So there he is. That's what we come up with. This is a good Hello folks, today we're going to be painting a yellow perch, so we're going to do it on this 2.5 square bill. The colors we're going to be using, this is a airbrush and, or paintbrush Comart yellow, Hansa yellow, going to be using a classic gold, gloss black, cardinal red, and hot saffron. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I can get it done. So we'll start this off with this Comart yellow paint here. This does not have to be thin. This Comart doesn't. Check our pressure down there. And let's just spray the sides of our bait there. That's all we want to do. way back up on the tail so there we go now we're going to heat set that right quick throw another coat on it and move on to the next color let's cut that air pressure down a little bit yeah, there we go folks well, you know you can go ahead and run a little yellow down the back it don't matter we're going to be painting that a different color but Let's just do it. So there we go. There's that one. Damn fly just landed on it, folks. Let's uh, clean that up a little bit. Okay, so the next step, we're done with our yellow. Just move it off to the side. So we're going to go into a little bit of gold. And we don't need much of this gold. Just a few drops. That's all we need right there. So, let's clean our airbrush out. Right quick. out now this gold is a different type paint so it will have to be thinned so let's uh, thin it out a little bit and I don't want much of this gold on this bait but I want a little tiny bit About four drops is about all I need there. And I just want to barely get a little bit of gold. Just to try to cool that yellow off just a little. Not much. Can you see the difference there? No. That's all the gold I want on there. We'll clean this brush, heat set that, and move on to the next color. Now the next color that we're going to be going with is going to be black. And we don't need much of the black either. Just a little bit. That's probably plenty right there. You got to thin the black out. Feels pretty good right there. So folks, I just got out here and cut me some little stencils out earlier for this little project. So, I'm going to sit up here and 
hold those stencils in. If I can get my assistant to come over here and let me have a hand, I'll just reach over there and hold that in place right there. But I promise you I will probably paint your fingers. That's reassuring. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, I got me three straps on there. So we're gonna set that off over there. Now we're going to stencil this other side. Let's kind of look at our straps and kind of get them pretty close. There's nothing perfect in nature. There we are. Okay. So we've got our stripes on now. So now we're going to just go ahead and finish out the black on this bait. Just like that. Bring a little bit of black down the side into those stripes. That's all we need to do. Just like that right there, folks. What do y'all think about that? I'm gonna reach up in here and get a little bit of black up on his head. Just like that right there. I'm gonna let that get good and dry and move on to the next step. What's your thoughts? Good, bad, go. crazy, nutty. So let's flip this bait over and mix our next colors. We don't need much of this either. So we're going to be using this uh, hot saffron. Just a little bit. This cardinal red. Just a couple of drops in there. And we'll thin that out. And if we need to add a little orange, we'll add a little orange. If we need to add a little red, we'll add a little bit of red. Throw just a tiny bit more on it. Better dry. Then we got one last step. I need to put just a little bit more gold on there, and that won't take us but a second. About one drop. That's all it's going to take.
Okay folks, we got it all dried up and ready for epoxy. And we're going to use a black and silver eye on this one. Right here's the eyes. Right there's one of them. Let's get it laid up in there good. And we'll mix our epoxy up. Take the tape off the bill. Get it done. Right, let's pull this tape. Sometimes I put a lot of tape on them. So you have to be kindly patient. Then it sticks to your fingers. We're making progress, we're making progress. Okay, now we got the tape all off the bill. Let's mix our epoxy up. A little bit bigger bait, so 1.5 of each in our epoxy. back on it and I've decided to go with a black glitter on this one Just a little bit of black in there mix thoroughly Really good down that back. There you go folks, yellow perch, ugly dog style. So we're going to hook him and hang him. Okay folks, we got our yellow perch all epoxied and Pull him off the drying rack and put hooks on him. So there he is. That's what we come up with. This is a good looking lure. This is a 2.5 square bill. It'll go about four feet under the water, depending on the bill size. If the bill's over an inch, it'll go up to 10 feet. So just a little FYI there. One to four feet if it's under an inch. So there he is. 
he looks pretty good to me. So folks, remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Hit that notification bell up there in the corner. You know, like, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.